Hello and welcome back. I am, of course, your favourite strange online tarot type person called Nick Dutch, and I do tarot. It's what I do for a large chunk of my like living and life and the rest of that. But also, it's like a really, really cool thing because it gives people a moment in life when you can just sit down, relax, chill out. Think about your life from a different point of view, look at the symbols, look at the things that's being said and see whether there's something which can like inspire you, direct you, or make you think about things in a different way. And that's essentially the real benefit that a tarot reading can actually give. So what I'm going to do for you now is another three card tarot reading to see whether this actually is like useful to you. It might be relevant to you, it might be relevant to a friend or a family member, or it could just be something which is just like useful contemplatively and all the rest of that. As usual, this is a completely unscripted video, so here we go. Boom. Straight down to the board, straight down to the table. Oh, I've got the bell here. There's, you know, there's a, there's a bit of a clue there because, you know, you can ring the bell on the, um, you know, the thing, the notification icon thing, you know, it's a, like got a bell on it, sort of like, you know, this. anyway, click it. It's going to be fun. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. And don't forget to subscribe because subscriptions make me feel happy. All right, here we go sense of universal consciousness and connectedness, a sense of healing and breaking down complicated ideas, a feeling of movement to a time and place of uh, hmm, satisfaction, but also a sense of success and achievement there. This feels like a material world reading to me, okay? It looks like you got some things going on, which is all about who you're connected to and how you're connected to them, how you're going through your own personal healing and growth. Lovely colors there, lovely images, lovely prismatic imagery there. Okay, a prism breaks down the solid white light into its different colors so you can analyze it. So then you can analyze the white light better in terms of how all the various different parts of the spectrum are kind of like coming out, if you know what I mean. So you'll be able to work out more. This is about finding out things which are hidden. The white light contains information, but you can't work out what the information is until you've broken it down. So the ideas coming your way seem like they mean one thing. But what's the undercurrent idea behind the original idea and what's said and what's done? What's the real truth behind everything? This shows me connection and connectedness with those around you, family, friends, work colleagues, and so on and so forth. Also those in your community and the interconnectedness of life itself. This feeling of the interconnectedness of life itself should take you away from thinking, I'm the one who's done everything. I am the superior one. I have achieved this, that, and the other. Because no. You've achieved this, that, and the other because you're connected to others, all right? You've achieved this, that, and the other because you're on the shoulders of giants, as we all are in this era. And humility is accepting that and learning to see where else you can gain your information from, all right? Sense of progression here is quite good because it's talking about the things inside you and in your life which aren't helping material survival and success, and also a time of moving away from uh, one way of looking at life and creating a new path, maybe a new venture, a new string to your bow, a new way of improving your existing career. All right. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. But breaking down complicated concepts, finding out the concept which is behind the original concept or the concept which is behind the symbol is probably the most important thing you can do at this time in your development. Because that will lead to the understanding which will then create the change in positivity associated with this part of the reading. Does that matter? Does that, does that make sense to you? Can you see what matters and what doesn't? Are you learning to think about how to create change? All right. As I say, this is a general reading going out to generally anyone who is looking at this, but it could be relevant to you. It could be relevant to this, that, and the other. I don't know, but you do. And I have this wonderful, magical, powerful thing called a comment section and it's down there somewhere. And what you could do is like make a comment, say, this is relevant to me, this is not relevant to me. Hey, Nick, you're crazy. Or why didn't you just stop doing this stuff because it's silly? Or whatever it is, you know, if, if it's a bit rude, I might delete it. But, like, you know, don't be, don't be rude. Just don't be rude, okay? And if you want to see more from me, then stay subscribed and all the rest of that jazz. And remember, when Halloween comes, we are going to seriously toy with our dark side. And I'm even thinking of a bit of um, toying with our dark side closer to May Day, if you'd like that. Speak to you in a bit. Bye for now.